Imagine the Earth as a giant jigsaw puzzle. Instead of cardboard pieces, it's made of massive slabs of rock called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, albeit very slowly. They drift atop the Earth's mantle, a layer of hot, semi-solid rock. These movements, though subtle, are the driving force behind many of our planet's most dramatic features, from towering mountain ranges to deep ocean trenches. The theory of plate tectonics explains how these plates interact. They can collide, pull apart, or grind past each other. These interactions are what cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of new landforms. It's a slow, powerful dance that has shaped our planet over billions of years. Understanding plate tectonics is crucial to understanding volcanoes. Most volcanoes are found where these plates meet. The interaction between the plates creates the perfect conditions for molten rock, known as magma, to rise to the surface and erupt. Volcanoes are some of the most awe-inspiring and powerful features on Earth. They are vents or openings in the Earth's crust that allow molten rock, ash, and gases to escape from deep below the surface. Imagine them as safety valves for the immense pressure building up within our planet. Volcanoes come in many shapes and sizes. Some are towering cones, while others are vast depressions in the ground. They can be found on land and beneath the sea, shaping the landscape and influencing the environment around them. Whether dormant or active, Volcanoes are a testament to the dynamic forces at work within our planet. They remind us that Earth is a living, breathing entity, constantly changing and evolving over time. The birth of a volcano is a dramatic event, typically occurring over thousands or even millions of years. Most volcanoes form at the boundaries of tectonic plates. When plates collide, one plate may slide beneath the other, a process known as subduction. This process generates immense heat and pressure, melting the rock above and forming magma. The less dense magma then rises through cracks and weaknesses in the Earth's crust. Over time, this molten rock accumulates in a magma chamber beneath the surface. As the pressure builds, the magma is forced upwards through a vent, eventually erupting onto the surface as lava, ash, and gases. Repeated eruptions build up layers of solidified lava and ash creating the distinctive cone shape we associate with many volcanoes. Each eruption contributes to the growth and evolution of the volcano, shaping its unique character over time. Central to the story of volcanoes are two key players, magma and lava. Though often used interchangeably, they represent distinct stages in the life cycle of molten rock. Magma is the term for molten rock that exists beneath the Earth's surface. It is a complex mixture of molten rock, dissolved gases, and solid crystals. Think of it as the raw, volatile ingredient of a volcano. Lava, on the other hand, is molten rock that has erupted onto the Earth's surface. Having lost some of its gases upon eruption, lava is slightly cooler than magma but no less dangerous. The composition and temperature of magma and lava influence the type of eruption and the resulting volcanic landforms. Thicker, more viscous lava tends to create more explosive eruptions, while thinner, more fluid lava flows more easily, creating gentler eruptions. How Eruptions Happen Deep beneath the Earth's surface, a symphony of pressure and heat orchestrates the dramatic spectacle of a volcanic eruption. It begins with magma, that potent cocktail of molten rock and dissolved gases, accumulating in chambers beneath the Earth's crust. As more magma rises from below, pressure builds within these chambers, much like air inflating a balloon. This pressure pushes on the surrounding rocks, creating a constant force seeking release. When the pressure exceeds the strength of the surrounding rocks, the magma forces its way upwards through cracks and weaknesses in the Earth's crust. This upward surge of magma, now called lava, bursts forth from the Earth's surface, often with explosive force. Ash, gas, and rock fragments are ejected into the atmosphere, creating a spectacular display of nature's raw power. The style of the eruption, whether explosive or effusive, depends largely on the viscosity of the lava and the amount of gas it contains. Fire and fury types of eruptions. Volcanic eruptions are not one-size-fits-all events. They can range from gentle outpourings of lava to catastrophic explosions that reshape the landscape. Two primary types of eruptions characterize this spectrum, explosive and effusive. Explosive eruptions are the more dramatic and dangerous of the two. They occur when magma is thick and viscous, trapping gases within it. 
As pressure builds, the gases eventually overcome the strength of the surrounding rock, resulting in a sudden, violent release. Ash, rock fragments, and hot gases are ejected into the atmosphere, often reaching heights of several kilometers. Effusive eruptions, on the other hand, are characterized by the gentler outpouring of lava. These eruptions occur when the magma is thinner and less viscous, allowing gases to escape more easily. Lava flows downhill, often creating vast lava fields that can reshape the landscape over time. The type of eruption depends on several factors, including the composition of the magma, its temperature, and the amount of dissolved gases it contains. Understanding these factors is crucial for predicting eruptions and mitigating their potential hazards. Harbingers of Change Predicting Eruptions Predicting volcanic eruptions is a complex and challenging task, but advancements in volcano monitoring have significantly improved our ability to anticipate these powerful events. Scientists use a variety of tools to watch active volcanoes. Seismic activity is a key indicator. As magma rises, it triggers earthquakes detected by seismometers. Changes in earthquake patterns can signal an impending eruption. Ground deformation is another clue. Magma causes the ground to bulge. GPS and satellite imagery track these changes. Gas emissions are monitored too. Rising magma releases gases like sulfur dioxide. Scientists measure these to assess activity. From Pompeii to Krakatoa famous eruptions. History is replete with tales of volcanic eruptions, some awe-inspiring, others utterly devastating. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD buried Pompeii and Herculaneum under ash and pumice. These cities offer a poignant glimpse into Roman life centuries ago. The 1883 eruption of Krakatoa unleashed a cataclysmic explosion heard thousands of kilometers away. The resulting tsunami devastated coastal communities, killing tens of thousands. The 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens demonstrated the destructive power of volcanic mudflows, known as lahars. The eruption reshaped the surrounding landscape, leaving a lasting mark. These eruptions highlight the importance of volcano monitoring and hazard mitigation. Living with Volcanoes, Dangers and Benefits Volcanoes, for all their destructive potential, are an integral part of our planet's natural systems. They are both a force of creation and destruction, shaping the landscape and influencing the environment around them. The dangers posed by volcanoes are well documented. Explosive eruptions can unleash pyroclastic flows, deadly avalanches of hot gas and volcanic material that race down the slopes at speeds exceeding 100 km per hour. Ashfall can blanket vast areas, disrupting transportation, damaging crops, and posing respiratory hazards. Yet, volcanoes also offer significant benefits. Volcanic soils are incredibly fertile, rich in nutrients that are essential for plant growth. Volcanic areas often support thriving agricultural communities. Geothermal energy harnessed from the heat of volcanic activity provides a clean and sustainable source of power in many parts of the world. Moreover, volcanic eruptions release gases that contribute to the Earth's atmosphere, playing a role in regulating the planet's climate over geological timescales. Understanding the complex interplay between the dangers and benefits of volcanoes is crucial for communities living in their shadow. The Ring of Fire and Beyond Volcanoes Around the world, volcanoes are concentrated in specific regions, often along tectonic plate boundaries. The Ring of Fire encircles the Pacific Ocean and is home to 75% of the world's volcanoes. This arc stretches from the Andes through Central and North America, the Aleutian Islands, Japan, the Philippines, and Indonesia. The Ring of Fire is a testament to ongoing tectonic activity. From the Andes to the Pacific Islands, volcanoes remind us of Earth's dynamic forces. Watching and Waiting – The Future of Volcano Monitoring As our understanding of volcanoes evolves, so too do the methods we use to monitor their activity and predict eruptions. Advances in technology are providing scientists with increasingly sophisticated tools to keep a watchful eye on these fiery giants. Networks of seismometers, GPS receivers, and gas sensors are being deployed on volcanoes around the world, providing real-time data on their activity levels. Satellite imagery allows scientists to track changes in ground deformation, gas emissions, and thermal activity from space. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are being employed to analyze vast amounts of data, identifying patterns and anomalies that might otherwise go unnoticed. 
These technologies are helping scientists to develop more accurate and timely eruption forecasts. The future of volcano monitoring lies in continued innovation and collaboration. By combining cutting-edge technology with a deep understanding of volcanic processes, we can strive to mitigate the risks posed by these powerful forces of nature and live in greater harmony with our dynamic planet.